All right, guys, oh welcome back to part two of the House of Da Vinci Blind playthrough. We are about to head into chapter two. And um, yeah, we did the whole labyrinth thing in the previous episode. And now we're moving on to uh, what Mika tells us is, uh, he believes, is a very neat chapter. So uh, I'm sure they're all neat chapters, but let's jump in and... Uh, see what we have got as always we got Deathwish riding shotgun with us tonight Hola. So, uh, yeah all righty then was quite clear, Master. Enough! This was the last insult! You, Leonardo, have no idea what pressure I am under. I cannot wait mm. any longer. I will gladly double your commission, but I need the machine finished as soon as possible. Is that the, that's the, sorry, sir, the guy from the beginning, the isn't it, I think? Can speed up the process. Yeah. Well, when he... The, the guy that got him out. Finish it. Yeah. Hence the dodgy look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Giacomo. You are here. Excellent. Look what we have here. In the morning, I was visited by a Valencian... Not to, like, deviate a minute, but this guy, like, the guy, guy we're playing, his name is Giacomo, right? But we deal with a company at our work who have pretty much got the, exactly the same like spelling in their company name apart from the O on the end, and we call it Giacom. So I find it like I find it very strange to hear him say Giacomo, and yeah. then like see it spelled like that. Well, but, that, doesn't, um, that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could see own. I could see Giacomo, but not Jack. Uh, yeah, whatever. Well, 15th century <laughs> stuff, eh? <laughs> yeah. Nobleman. Yeah, well, they've, they've also said some other words. Uh, I noticed that they, they incorrectly pronounced. Uh, I've never heard them pronounce the way they pronounce them. He asked me to find out what is but hidden in minor, this minor particular stuff. cabinet. Naturally, I tried to explain that I'm currently working on more pressing matters. But in the end, he persuaded me by telling me that I am the only one who can help him. To tell the truth, the uh, actual reward he offered was even it. stronger motivation. What he's really he saying is, money. I tried, I failed. So I have more pressing now. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really as, it's all a facade. I'm not really as smart as I, as I, as I say I am. Uh, can you do it for me? <laughs> I just want the money. I very much yep. doubt that there is anything extraordinary or even dangerous hidden inside. Even though the Duke... <clears throat> the gentleman acted as if he thought that the devil himself is in there. Well, as I was saying, I currently do not have the time to cater to whims of some uh, nobleman. You will take on this task, Jacob. And I will come back when you are finished to see what you have discovered. Another point, and I mean, I know it really doesn't make a difference at all, but I find it quite interesting that, like, they've portrayed Da Vinci as an Englishman, even though he lived in Italy. Because I've at least sort no. of, like, pulled somebody with an Italian accent. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, I thought Da Vinci was Italian. <laughs> It's a game. All right. Yeah, I know. I just not to, yeah. need to need to not look into it so much. Yeah. I tell I tell I my did, kids that all I the did time. The same thing. <laughs> my kids are like, "Oh, uh, can you do this in real life?" I was like, "No, it's a game. It's not meant to be real. Don't worry about it. It's fine." <laughs> Maybe if I look at this really closely and put on my eyepiece, I can uh, look through there. Doors run past. Wrong game. No, that's that, that's the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You okay, we've got here. Plan. Okay, so I think 
probably we're going to put something in there and it's going to release the catch. Possibly. It's the only one that's got one of those on it. It's a big moon shape with the mechanism with the moon on the moon. It's like a really weird way to dial a telephone. Got the holes, holes at the top. It's already banned. Well, let's be honest. No, no millennial knows how to use one of those telephones anyway. So, <laughs> nah, they'd be totally confused. No buttons to push. No Siri to say, "Hey Siri, ring this person." <laughs> yeah. No. Just making sure that my phone's not reacting. <laughs> Right, the folded phoenix head. Or the phoenix head. There is nothing else here, but let's look around. Here, yeah, I guess this is the second half of the phoenix. No, it's a head with a screw. Okay. The head of a figurine. All right. Look at these. That looks like it could be set on something and release the catch on there. That looks like it hooks on something. All right. What have we got on this side? Let's have a look. Doesn't look like we can do anything at the moment. I see some colours though. That's interesting. We've got the four colours that we've got here on the bottom there. So. Can the will these things go on here? No. Ta da! All right. But you first, you try the most two, the the, the two most the two things in your inventory the the. Most obviously don't go there. <laughs> okay, so I guess what we're doing here is... Ah, we can move them. Okay, that makes loads of sense then. I don't think I can move that bottom one, though. Oh, maybe I can. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, so this is actually similar to one of the mechanics in the room, if I remember rightly. It's that um, the the VR when you've got the um, you've got like that big cogwheel thing that you can move around uh, in the church with the statues, and you can kind of change the position of the cog that you're using. Oh, yeah. uh, anyway, so I think what we've got to do here is because when we press this button. These things come out here, so I guess we've got to line these up to the correct, um, the correct things. Now, given that this red one here is birds, I think that's going to go there. That would make sense. Oh, we then okay. have a snake, and I think that's possibly a lion. Not sure on that at the minute. You, know, you could maybe say that the yellow one was a snake. Or got, got a snake on it. A walking stick. Then that one, the blue looks like a snake actually. What have I done? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um. Oh! Oh, 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 okay. I've, I've misunderstood the concept here. Yeah, okay. I am a dumbass. These are actually protruding out of a, uh, a colour, of course. So... They are. There you go. <laughs> that was a lot simpler than I was making it out to be, that's for sure. I wasn't going to say anything. All right, that looks like our phoenix. A 
Okay, so we've got a combination here. I like how the head, when you first got it, said it was incomplete, and you just had to <laughs> turn the thing. Uh, a frick, a friggin' quarter turn or whatever, and then now it's complete. Okay, so we're looking for a combination somewhere of um, these hieroglyphics, and the bottom one is locked in already. Okay. All right, let's just have a look over here again. Did this fit into here? No, it does not. Um, okay, so let's have... What do we look at next? Is there any... I suppose we should, like, have a... Take a bit more of a look around the room itself. And it's not like letting me do... It's not really letting me deviate too much from here, if I'm honest. So I think actually we've got to stick on this box. Now, also, I've noticed it's not letting me do anything at the bottom at the moment. So if there is something to do, we obviously don't have the right bits and pieces to do anything with that at the moment. Maybe there's a hop somewhere in there. <laughs> That'll give you the piece you need. After finding 13 other useless pieces to go with it. Yeah, I'm sure it will. <laughs> yeah. While uh, dudes over in the corner going, putting a, a jigsaw puzzle together. <laughs> that, that's more pressing than this box. He's clearly not bothered, you know, the fact that, you know, I've actually managed to start opening it and he's just like, uh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you're like, I, I already knew how to do that. I just, I just have more pressing matters. <laughs> don't need to be bothered with this simple contraption. Nothing in here. I will say it's got like it's got quite a few of those elements of the hidden object games um, on here though. Like you, you're clicking on one thing, thinking there's something there, and it takes you to the middle. I know that's one of yeah, your yeah. biggest pet hates with those games. Yeah. I feel like you're uh, zooming in on something else. And Still yeah, takes you to the same place. So, okay, okay, can you make that hit box any bigger? And then, and then you get the then you get the ones where there's an object you need, and you look every freaking place you can possibly think of, and then you accidentally click somewhere, and it had a like a, a three pixel hit box. To zoom in on it, it's like what? Can you uh, just deal with that for me a minute, Deathwish or Mika? One of you in chat. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <sighs> Mika's trigger finger was faster than mine. All right, so I just noticed the this bird symbol here. On the bird's wings. Now it looks like to me there are other symbols underneath as well. So how do we get little Mr. Birdie to move its wings? Well, if you can't if you can't fly with eight wings, I don't I don't know what what else you could do. Is 
They're obviously all hinged. You can see the hinges there. So, yeah, I've got to work out how to raise the wings here. Um, yeah, I mean, this is one of those. The thing on the front, you can brute force pretty easily. That would be no fun. No. Those symbols there, I don't think, mean anything. Probably even somebody's, uh, it's probably a compromised account that they're using or something like that, Mika. Oh, hold on. Oh. It's probably been all botted up. I love the way it's like they 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 set the bot up to like post a link, but it's like not even a link. <laughs> well, that's why it says remove the space. Surely that's a. Uh, surely that's not a very good bot. The fact that uh, the whole idea of those sorts of things is that you click on it straight away and you get absolutely riddled with malware. <laughs> All right, so um, malware, Brett. malware bites for the win. Have I not got my? Oh, I guess I don't have it here. Interesting. Nope. So I don't have my way to go back into the past here, which is interesting. I just noticed. Hmm. Hey, slow down there, man. You're making too much progress too quickly. <laughs> You'll be done with the game in five minutes if you keep this up. Huh. That one <laughs> that one thing at the top looks like a diode. Right there. Okay, um, even if I was to... See, that's naughty. I don't like that. Uh, the wings flapped. Hmm. That's like the inside wing. That's obviously the final combination that I've just brute forced right there. Um, yeah, that's the problem when you with uh, puzzles that have uh, very few options. You can just, I mean, I've, yeah. I went, I've done some like this to where I was just looking at them to check them out. And it, yeah, you and accidentally I, I solve just, them. Yeah, I just solved it, and I'm like, "What? What? Wait, what happened? I didn't. I didn't, I didn't get to actually solve it. <laughs> yeah, they're they're a little too simplified. Hold on. Here we go. Bird, bird, plate. You're gonna. Look back. 
Uh, next. Some weird thing with the tail. There we go. Uh, hook, zigzag, tent. Lack of a better description. Whatever works for you. <laughs> I do the same thing. I just make up whatever it kind of reminds me of at the moment. Snake. You know what? I'm doing this the complicated way because I've no. I've got this on here. Um, equals square worm. Equals square rectangle. Worm. Okay, rectangle. I'll give you that. It reminds me actually more of a spirit level rather than anything, I think. Uh, all, squ all squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are square. Uh, which one have I done? This this one, the lion. So it's uh, the rope, rope, C, and weird shape. Uh, it's a dyad. A sideways E, a C, and a dyad. Yep, there's a dyad. All right, I'll get that one. <laughs> sideways E. Ding, ding. Yeah, I think even when I knew how to do the puzzle, I still couldn't do it, Mika, so... I think I was pretty impressed with myself. Alright, so gotta put the head in first, I guess, because the head latched onto everything else. Hey, would you look at that? Hey! It's a moon key! I wonder where I could use what that. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Hmm. Wonder. Perplexing. Don't worry about that, though. You got more pressing matters. Wow, I can't believe that worked. What are the chances, eh? We've got a sphere. Yeah. Oh, you hey, look at that. That's, that's just, like, randomly appeared. Ah. Huh. Well then. Looks like a I'm spherical amazed. object could fit in there. Oh, I'm shocked and amazed. Alright, so we need a another key here with it's a octagon, I think, with some things coming off it. It's it's kill shot. Or MGK from Eminem got the uh, plus sign crossing through the stop sign. Ah. And these look like the world's smallest puzzles right here. Everything just flopping open. A vial with unknown liquid. Take a sip, find out what it is. What's the worst that could happen? At the minute, I think... I, I, I will say like there was parts in the first game where I was like really stuck. I don't feel like I've been, I've hit a moment like that yet. So, um, in that regards, I'm liking this one better. But um, no, I would say like I think personally think this one is um, it's pretty good. The puzzles I think are better. I, I found like with the first one, a lot of the time I was almost randomly clicking at points, which isn't particularly good. I know. But, uh, yeah, so far, I haven't had to do anything crazy. Now, what in the world are you trying to do here? Uh, good question. All right, so it looks like we need to... 
Seems like surely they're not like light bulb recesses, are they? It looks like something's gonna connect from this to here. Um This change? Oh no. Yeah, I think they did much better on this game, Mika as well. I still I still think the room is a better overall game. But this is a this is a close second. What did I miss with this then? Oh. Does the liquid go here? I just looked at this and I thought, oh, that looks like a glass, like, test tube kind of thing. Nailed it. This is the stream. This is the rest of the stream. <laughs> what, is, what are you oh. doing? I, I, I had no idea what I was doing. A manual centrifuge. <laughs> a button with a thorn. So I'm guessing right. I've got to take these... I gotta take these, I guess, and I'm gonna have to put these on the other side. Kern I wonder now, though, if I could do anything with this. Colonel's a tough one, uh, but I, that's up there. I like that one a lot. Yeah, had some really good, unique puzzles. And it packed a lot into. Uh, it really was a pretty small area overall. We're playing a shell game. <laughs> I hate this. That wasn't too bad, to be fair. Eagle eyed. And. Yep. I, I find these so just overly simple. Even when they go fast, they don't they don't fool me. Can't fool a fool. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't bullshit a bullshitter. I'm guessing there's no right order to these, you just have to put them in. Bloop. Bloop. I love the way you need the screwdriver to open it up, but then they instantly just flip down on their own when you've done yeah, the right they thing. They sense the chemical in it. Red, yellow, green. That is not RGB. Alrighty then. Thank you. Thank you for my safety screw. Much appreciated. Yeah, he has good puzzles. Ooh. Well, I guess we're on to the next bit. Yikes. Ding. By the time you're done, you'll have the. Once it's fully opened, it'll be bigger. Well, 
I in the room it's inside of. Now I must finish something in the upper workshop. So Look, you can shut up. Ahead. I have more pressing things I to do. I would expect to see the cabinet's mechanism in all its beauty today. Because you're really that interested, Leo, aren't you? Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, dude, what were you doing at your desk? There's nothing there. Nothing has moved. You clearly didn't see the fact that I've just unlocked a box that's got a fire-breathing dragon part to it and I could burn his workshop down in an instant if he doesn't show me some goddamn respect. <laughs> respect my daughter! <laughs> I made... I mean, my, my latest note, the latest notes in my book. I made some progress and told Leo about it. He got quite jealous, and in a tantrum, he ran off into his workshop. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This pressing matter turned into pissed off in this. Yeah. Like, fuck that little fucking know it all. I want to go up in my office and jerk off for a bit. <laughs> All right. About to say that looks like the same sort of position from there. What we got here? Ah, another one of these. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Okay, so this looks like we need to Dot line it. line the stars or something along those lines. So obviously need a combination for that. I could just guess. I don't want to guess. <laughs> you can brute force it. I don't want to brute force it. <laughs> okay, he needs something on his head. He also has a very weird grin about him. Yeah, I know what you mean, Mika. Uh, I wouldn't mind one in that range, but uh, I didn't. I didn't find Quern to be overly difficult, in my opinion. But it depends on how much you play uh, games, though. To you. like with like these types of games, it's like you know some of them. You're totally, uh, it's like, oh, no, a, 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 an actual new puzzle. You gotta go, you gotta go hunting for stuff. Hunting, where, where is, where is it? Uh, what am I, the thing I'm looking for, where is it? Because I know what I need, I just need to find it. But, uh, yeah, see, so that's the thing. It's kind of like uh, word games. I play, I play a lot of word games. Uh, uh, speak, speaking uh, of word games, sorry to uh, just interrupt a minute and deviate from the topic conversation. Um, wordscapes, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, call, call me a dumbass. Dumbass. Um, please do. But I've just literally realized like how you earn more stars on the daily puzzles. And I feel so stupid. <laughs> I didn't realize it was like connected you, you to the... You didn't realize it was the butterflies? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, every day I was like, how on earth are you meant to get like all of the, uh, all of the bits and pieces? And then one day I actually realized, oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh... <laughs> Yeah, uh, you're a dumbass. <laughs> I'll call you on that one. Yeah, even, even my mom figured that one out right away. <laughs> and uh, I mean, not to say she's a dumbass, but cause she's very smart, but she doesn't play any games. She plays a lot of solitaire. Uh, I, I literally uh, just got her a new uh, uh, fire tablet. Uh, Solely for her to play solitaire on. That's what she mainly does on it. 
She doesn't go on the internet, but she could. She doesn't do any of the other number of things that she could. She plays solitaire on the tablet. That's it. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that, dude. Oh, no, that's why I know she likes it. So, because the other one I got her uh, crapped out, it wouldn't uh, turn on or charge or anything anymore. So, I it, it was like old. That. So I got her, I got her a newer one. Well, a new one, newer model as well. Uh, that was a little bigger and caused less than the original one. I mean, you can't you can't beat fire tablets. They're they're so cheap, yeah, especially especially when you're not using them for anything major. If you're just surfing the web or watching a little video or something, they're perfect. And you can't and you can't beat them for the price. Oh no, the cheapest chips. Yeah, I mean they. they Granted, they do have their, uh, Amazon has their ads kind of bloated on them, but it's not a big deal. You know, just offering their services and whatever, like they do on everything Yeah, else. I remember, like, um, my mom gave my kids, like, an Amazon tablet that she didn't use once before, and that was, be like, the one thing I kind of noticed about it it was like proper like amazon heavy like yeah, oh, yeah and their version of android is just like proper bloated out to the max yeah sure. they 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 push their services they push prime they push uh uh their uh crap their 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 book, their uh, their audible, shit. yeah, audible. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you know everything. They they push everything in a way. Uh, depending on what you're doing and when you're doing it. And, oh but it's no, got, I feel but, even dumber. Sorry, come carry on. <laughs> Said another dumb moment that I've just realised. Carry on. <laughs> You're talking about <clears throat> turning on the left side? Yeah, I didn't realize there was two um, two wheels on that. Yeah, uh, I wasn't going to say anything. And I didn't. <laughs> I'm going to pinpoint that little island there on the map, it looks like. Okay. Hey, you got a brass handle. That's that's worth three chickens. Yeah, that's, 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 that's something different, like me. I, I, would, I would love to be able to read more. I just don't enjoy reading because I'm a very slow reader. Um, and it takes me an absolute age to actually read anything. So. Yeah, I, I used to read a ton when I was younger. And, you know, like they try to, they say, you know, get your kids, make make them read when they're younger. I mean, I just did. I, I went to the library every day. I, I was reading like a, a book every, uh, you know, every, every couple of days, sometimes a book a day, but depends on, you know, how long. And then I did, I did that all the way until I got to high school. And then, uh, and then I kind of just lost, I mean, I read what I had to read for English. Uh, other than that, I just kind of stopped reading. And then with with the advent of computers, I guess, I guess I, I have to say I still read a lot. I just don't read books. I read a lot of uh, inf information, uh, scientific information uh, that has to do with a lot of things, uh, co computer stuff, uh, you name it. Sometimes current affairs because it's just in my face, so I'll kind of skim that stuff. Like the whole uh, Will Smith dumbassery. <laughs> uh, I don't care about celebrity awards or any of that garbage, but there were so many good jokes <laughs> uh, about that whole fiasco. And props to Chris Rock for 
uh, Hannah like a champ. And uh, Will Smith ruined his good name in one foul slap. I mean, I, I still like Will Smith. I think he's just, because uh, I mean, I've I've known since twenty plus years ago that, uh, I mean, him and Jada always had relationship issues, and saw counselors and this and that and the other. But nah, she's a polygamist. And he's not, um, but he's. He's letting that get to him. He's allowing it, but he's also taking it out on other people like Chris Rock. He made a. I, but I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what I found. I found fascinating about that whole that whole thing and how it went down. Um, like I, there, there was like the there was just like the quick two minutes thing. The whole thing on one of our news web, on our news sites over here, and like he was sat there. He accepted the joke and he was laughing along at the joke. And then it's almost like he turned he turned to his wife and his wife was like not impressed. And it was only yeah. at that moment did he decide to actually get up and do what yeah. he did. Exactly. Almost like he was just taking it in his stride and he was sort of like, you know, he accepted the fact that it was a com it, you know, it was a laugh and it was a bit of comedy. I mean, fair enough it was touch and go as to whether or not it was, you know, the right thing to maybe have, have done and said. But yeah, it was like almost like he wasn't Will Smith didn't look like he was going to do that on his own back. Um, no, it, it was because of Jada and how far up her, up her ass uh, he is. And her sleeping with her son's friend and, and everybody else in the world. I, unfortunately, I haven't got a chance to fuck her, but... <laughs> No, no. And, and you, and you want to hear some uh, uh, surprising hypocritical shit? Uh, I don't know if you or y'all ever had the Arsenio Hall show over there back in the 90s, but uh, he was on uh, the Arsenio Hall used to be a really popular late, late, late night show. Right, okay. Uh, uh, and of course, he he played in Coming to America with Eddie Murphy and yada yada yada, but uh, yeah, Will Smith was a guest on his show and he made a joke about the one of the band members and their hair, like the right. exact same exact same kind of joke. Yeah, and, and people were like, "Oh," and he was like, "Oh, it's just a joke, man. It's just a joke." And it's like, wow, dude, hypocrite much? Yeah. Uh, nobody got up and slapped your ass. But yeah, it's, it's insane. Yeah, his, that, that relationship is, has been nothing but, from the beginning, nothing but caustic. And it's just poisonous to... To both of them, but more so to him. It's because I mean his character in general. He's he's not like that, and and that that relationship is is making him look bad. And the, and the, and the ironic thing is is that if he had not done that, and he looked over and saw her face like rolling her eyes, whatever. Uh, yeah. I'd, I'd been like, you know, get a sense of humor, bitch. <laughs> it ain't no big deal. You're the one that shaved your fucking head. You got plenty of money. You could have extensions, wigs, whatever you wanted. Nobody would ever know. No, but you're gonna you're gonna shave your head and shit. Then that's your fucking choice. Come on. You know, uh, yeah. Nobody, most people had never even known about the relationship issues and all that stuff or her sleeping around or <clears throat> any of that. But because he went up and slapped Chris Rock, everybody around the fucking world knows now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he made it, he made it so much worse on himself. 
which is a shame, you know. I I I, I do feel bad for him. Uh, but he's doing it to himself at the same time, so it's kind of like, yeah. But but it, but he's just he, he's got himself and yeah. I mean I don't. Um, I don't need to make this all yellow. Just a hunch. So I don't like the way this moves. This is like awful. Okay. Oh, hold on. I see how it's moving now. Okay, I'm a dumbass again. Uh, yep, I won't get to say it. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes sense. I take it all back. Yeah, Mika, that's kind of what people at first thought it was probably like part of the show staged but uh it was very very clear right after that it wasn't it, it was real deal he was because the uh uh the way the the i mean uh chris chris was uh you know he's an actor as well as a comedian um uh, and Will Smith, uh, just known for music at first, and then then he went on to acting. But uh, yeah, the way he told him, and was, I mean, you could you could, I mean, black dude, you could see his face turning red, and he was screaming at him to keep his mf and. Her MF and name out of his mouth. You know, and it's like, yeah, okay, he's serious. And then, nah, uh, there, there was no acting involved in that whole thing. And in and, and this case, I mean, people do, 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 I said do, do. <laughs> people, he said doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> people uh, have been trying to do stuff, uh, especially you know, actors uh, that were planned out to, to, to get everybody's jiggly in a wiggly and uh, panties in a bunch, uh, whatever term you want to use. Stuff up as I go along. Nick is in a knot. Nick is in a twist. Yeah, there's plenty. Keep going. <laughs> Yo, Atom, what's going on, dude? How you doing? Atom on the psychological level. Now that's deep. I must say, whoever made this box though is pretty, um, pretty cruel to like have an elephant trapped in here. I mean, the, have you ever thought of these, like on all of these kind of puzzles and stuff? Is very yeah. I mean, e even the fact that, granted, even the fact that it's in a computer game and it's like this level of detail is just insane. Yeah, I mean, and how things like that, like the trunk opened up, how it rolled down, and I had to slide out the end for it to stop and spin in. Uh, yeah, it's freaking awesome. I mean, mad props to the people that come up with this stuff. Yo, Leo, we got a message. You don't care. He's still jerking off uh, in the office. He's just like, have you got my paycheck yet? <laughs> Oi, oi, Savaloi. Oi, oi, Savaloi. 
Oh yeah, it is. He's coming. Yeah, I just I just saw that. <laughs> Yeah, gotta lock that door. Certainly couldn't pick a lock like that. Fine work, Giacomo. As I predicted, nothing dangerous. Lock picking lawyer. Like I mean, I don't need him. Pick. I could pick that in lock in Turkish about seafarer, five seconds. Devil knows why. Depicted his voyager's discoveries. His fellow countrymen must have admired the ingenuity, skill, and care needed to construct such a mechanism. You get all of that by looking at it. Okay. Of course. That's why he couldn't be bothered to tackle it, because he knew all about it all along, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm tired after such a long day. I will head to After such a long day doing what? You haven't done anything. Jeez. Hola, poor Punky. Come on, poor Punky. How you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome. My chamber to lie down. Have we finished that you game? Clean up the work we're talking about. When you're finished, go and rest as well. You should be done by now. So wait a second, right? Not only have we had to like fathom out this box, work out all the puzzles and unlock it for him, he's now telling us we've got to go and clean up the workshop. Wow. But he, he's too tired from standing at his <laughs> workshop de desk, wiping, at it, wiping the dust off with his hand, and then locking himself in his office, jerking off while he finished up the box. And then comes down to say he's done for the day. He's not even bothered like what it says here. Look. Steam Duke of Valencia. Um, Caesar Borg, Borg, Borg yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. Uh, cool. Tells you wit and sharp mind reach far beyond the borders of your country. The proof of their ver verity is the fact that you were able to solve the puzzles hidden in this clock. I, Haji Ahmed Mahidin Piri, discovered it during my travels and now I bestow it as a gift upon you. It was devised and constructed by the great thinker Ismail al Jazari more than 200 years ago to show off the benefits of cultural diversity. I believe this ingenious machine will be a celebration of wisdom and knowledge brought by the enlightened era of reason. The machine was contravened con contrived sorry, uh, through rigorous research of shouldn't that be conceived? Contrived. Oh, contrived, okay. Uh, thanks, Jeremy. Uh, through rigorous research of discoveries by the greatest sages, mainly from Alexandrian and Muslim lands, and its visage symbolizes Egypt, Ara Arabia, India, per Persia, and the distant Asia. Please accept this map as of the world as well as, a, as well. A rare gift I made myself and invented block. Alrighty. Where, where, where was the map? The clock. I don't know where that is. Up your, up your ass and to the left. Of course, every time. Uh, anyway, what's he been up to? Should we go and take a look? About five foot eleven, I think. Portal time. That like reminds me of like um uh Obra Din when you use the stopwatches and you're kind of uncovering what happened on the boat. Oh yeah, that's yeah, I forgot about that. That was a game I uh glad I just watched you play and <laughs> I didn't play it because I wouldn't enjoy playing it. But, but I like watching you play it. And then, uh, uh, speaking of which, I love people that say, uh, you know, kids these days, I don't even play games. They watch people play games. Why would they do that? Why don't they just play them? Okay, well. Right now, you're on the fucking game show network watching Wheel of Fortune and Price is Right and every other game, and you never play it. Same thing, bitch. <laughs> oh, my, my son's like, my son's the worst. He's like, all the time, he's like, uh, he wants to like, 
I'm not going to watch this game because I really want to play it for myself. And then two days later, he's like, watch the whole thing and knows exactly what's going to happen. I was like, dude, how can how can you now enjoy playing that game knowing the, everything that's going to happen in the game? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like if I watch a game, I don't I play it. To remind you of the debt you still owe. Or it is time to make a. Point. And I'm not gonna watch a game. I know you still remember the unless I've already played it. Release. And like what you to, agreed to do yeah, for me. I, it's one way or the other. Either I I know I'm not gonna play it, so I watch it. It's like okay, cool. That was fun to watch you play it, but uh, yeah, I still wouldn't have want to play it. Yeah, it was, it was more fun for me watching somebody else play it. And yeah, if I if I if I if I bought it or something, uh, I'm definitely not watching anything until I play it. I hear the notebook. Give it to me. Rude. Did your mum not tell you not to snatch? Jeez. You are in luck. It seems that I did not come in vain. These aren't detailed enough notes. But beware. Do it, do it all over Leonardo again. Leonardo is not finished yet. And then throw it on do a floor. Do not four. forget why you are four. here and keep your silence. You need to, you need to be slapped Leonardo like Chris Rock. Leonardo cannot know anything about <laughs> any of this. Who are you speaking to? Oh. Pimp slap. Here, this was a copy. He tore the page out that I've made up. Dun dun dun. Giacomo, there was a time when I wrote to you that events you cannot understand are in store for you, and this is one of them. I took the Oculus per Perpetua back as I need it more than you do. Trust me that this is the best way to protect my endeavor. And even if you do not realize this fully yet, we are in the pursuit together. You need to feel no you need to feel no remorse for what happened today. No know that everything is happening exactly as it should. Giacomo, a time when we will meet is coming. Then you will finally understand that you are part of something great, important. Maintain your efforts. You are doing an Excellent work. Why does it sound like somebody's just watching the room behind me? Dun dun dun. In a bizarre twist of events, that's probably Leonardo that's um, writing and leaving me uh, notes, but we'll see. Where we're heading to it's next, though. Achievement unlock. Look at those achievements. It's tough, All right. Tough to get. It's like play the game, get achievement. Yeah. All right, we're heading over to Florence then, and we're, um, I think it's about uh, 10 years later, possibly. I think it was in, maybe not, maybe more than 10. I think, I think it was 12. Boy, you know. I'm glad you did the pronunciation there, because uh, I just looked for the easy word of Florence written <laughs> underneath. Hello. Game? Maybe oh. Hey, I remember this. This is the first game. So I guess that kind of answers the question then that yes, we are playing as the same guy from the first one.
What happened? I just remember falling down endlessly. So Borgir and I just fell into a different time. What is he going to do with the glove? I don't know, but all you have to do is uh, grab it on under that rope and just send on down and you'll find them. I wonder what that's used for. Hmm. It's a mystery. It's a square crank. And a weird figurine of Leonardo. I can't imagine he's the first person to do a blind playthrough at this point. See, that's the benefit of, like, what I always say, like, I live under a rock. That is really the benefit of it. The fact that I don't watch many playthroughs and not even aware of a lot of games. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. I'm, I'm in the same boat. Uh, and I, I don't just watch random games willy-nilly. If I haven't heard of it, uh... And it looks like something I might want to play, even if I never see it again and never end up playing it. I won't watch it. It yeah. has to be a it has to be a game I played in order for me to watch it, or a game that I've heard of that I'm not gonna play that I know, like a Civic Tour. Otherwise, uh-uh. <clears throat> no, I don't like uh, Port Punky's game, uh, Recursed. Uh, I played that out of pity and I was saddened. <laughs> saddened by the by the whole thing and uh it took it took many visits to my psychologist to get over that one. <laughs> Wait, you you got over it? <laughs> yeah. I know I know we've talked about this hours on hours on end. And how you're still struggling with uh, playing that game, but you're, you're doing okay. You'll get through it one day. Oh, come on. You know what to do here. say that oh okay oh. Uh, I'll be very brutally honest so it wasn't I don't think it was like particularly clear straight off the bat that that's what I needed to do, but okay. Uh, I thought it was. Just saying. <laughs> I mean, you got two things to slide up and down. With yeah, them. but I didn't, I didn't even like take notice of this, so that's but, but yeah, half the problem. The, the, the main part is getting them both up without uh, you know, well, obviously, you know. Yeah, this is one where you could brute force by accident. No, you dingy. You calling a dinghy? You're doing it wrong. Oh, you go well. take, you go take your dinghy elsewhere, man. <laughs> That's what she said. No, she didn't. I asked her. She never said that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, we're gonna be here all day at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. It's like watching a, a tutorial trying to put the little shapes and the same shape holes on the box. A folding key. 
Huh. I wonder what they, I have to do with this. And they end up putting all of the shapes in the square hole because every one of them fits through the square hole. <laughs> Uh, it's not quite. Plastica? Oh, uh, Hitler. Nobody told me this was a Camerson map. Nine! I remember this puzzle. Why I do, I don't know why, but it it's stuck stuck in my brain for some reason. Well, let it be unstuck from your brain. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, now I do. Now I do. Yeah. It's... It... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> One thing I'll sort of say is, like, I find, like, a lot of the time with this game especially, I'm just sort of, like, doing stuff without even, like, describing what I'm doing. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, that's... If you're watching, it's pretty obvious what you're doing. And I don't know if that's because... I played it already, and or just because it's just obvious what you're doing, or at least what you're trying to do. Even yeah. If it's the wrong, like even if it's the wrong thing, I I know what you're trying to do. In most cases, sometimes I really am clueless what you're trying to do because I'm like, that has nothing to do with what needs to be done. <laughs> hey Giacomo before you came to Milan I was visited by Caesar Borgia accompanied by mysterious men they brought ancient they brought they brought ancient but incomplete sorry but incomplete plans for an extraordinary machine and wanted me to build it for them my curiosity outweighed caution and I accepted the commitment including the promise to go for confidentiality. Captivated by the prospect, I started working right away, and the Duke came to check on, on me only from time to time. Soon I found the key to the immeasurable power of the miraculous device and understood that no man could be allowed to hold that kind of power. In time, Borgia became even more nervous and his visits closer and closer together. He seemed forced by someone or something fearful, and I no longer felt safe in Milan. Milan. Uh, okay. We found a new shelter in Florence. Alas, I could not just forget the machine. In Milan, I made only a small model and, oh, now, I want to, and now I want to see its full potential. I am full of remorse, but at the time, nothing could stop me from building a time machine in the tower of Bar Bar Bardia, Badia, Flor Fiorentina. I had no idea what danger they, that put us in. It was then the Borgia appeared again in Florence, and he seemed desperate. Gone was his majesty and noble bearing, but he was no less dangerous for it. His ob obstinate obsession with the time machine escalated, and I was slowly getting backed into a corner. To make matters worse, that was not all the device caught the interest of a secret and mysterious society. Giacomo, you are part of the story. Which part you, you will which part you will puzzle together on the first floor? I give you back the Oculus Perpetua, improved with a new function, but you will surely find out what that is on your own. So yeah, I was right. It was Leonardo who was secretly sending me messages and writing to me and stealing my stuff. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've always heard it pronounced from people from Milan as Milan. Milan. This is your land. This is my land. <laughs> These went back to pass just before, just after I jumped into the time machine. Yeah, you played the ball, didn't you, Knock? The ball? Yeah, the game, the ball. No. 
I know. I think I know all of it, but no, I haven't played it. Okay, you gotta play it. You, I think you you may have even sort of uh, I've mentioned it, it to me, yeah, at one point. Because I, I played it back when it came out, a uh, fun game, and then they added on a portal, uh, some bonus stuff. They added on uh, a, a portal area. Okay. So, yeah, it actually has a uh, portal in it. Oh, it's a secret elevator. Oh, okay. So now we can do weird and wonderful stuff with this. To make gears work and stuff. Well, it's got to connect to Oh, uh, yeah. I remember this. Oh, hold on. No, no, oh, no. No, no, no. I see what I need to do. Just, it's all right. Calm me tits. Calm me tits. <laughs> no. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez. Wow, geez. I'm about to have a story. <laughs> I, lo I love the like, way you like, we're actually, like, we've stopped. We're, we've gone back in time and time is frozen, yet we can still ride a mechanical lift. Yeah, that's right, Mika. You're in, you're in tomorrow land. You're still today. The yeah, technology was a beast back then. Somebody else who traveled to the past like us. Interesting. Who is the red cloaked person? All right, so it looks like this whole sort of place moves up or down. So this yeah, figure's got to the gate in the end, but how is it possible that one of them noticed me in the past? Calm, yeah, your, like... calm your tits by getting in a warm bath. So we can see here these, these gears here, which would indicate that the, uh, the upper floor can be raised or lowered. Actually, it might be the... I think it's actually the stairs, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably what it is. It's the stairs. So we're going to need to lower the stairs. Uh, you mean the the stairs? Oh, sorry. Do you Americans have a different pronunciation for stairs as well, like with everything else? It's not us who has different pronunciations. Oh, of course it wouldn't be, no. Of course not. Uh, ours are the real pronunciations, except for the, the one exception I'll give is aluminium. If Florence found myself between a rock and a hard place, should I give the machine to Borgia or secret or the secret society? I chose neither, but I needed a plan. There was only one way to get out of this mess: to go through the time machine into the past and prevent prevent it from ever being built. The drawback of the device was its instability as it could only be used twice in succession. That was a good thing. I could go through the gate and leave it inoperable for whoever would lay his hands on it. And that is how I first overcome the barrier of time and returned 11 years into the past to the year 1495. Poor Punky. That, that should be the way it's spelled. Platinum. That sounds much cooler. I'll give you that. Doesn't sound as boring as platinum or aluminum. Like aluminium sounds like scientific and platinum. But platinum makes it sound more like a it's a derivative or an alloy uh, with uh, tin, aluminum and steel and yeah, maybe a touch of nickel, uh, nickel lodium. <laughs> That's what they should call nickel, nickel lady. Then nickel back. Oh, one of the greatest rock bands ever. I see the um, I see the Chili Peppers have uh, got new stuff out, haven't they? Yeah, they just uh, just the other day released on late night. Yeah, they were on um, yeah, April, on April 1st. 
they were on a show I watch on a Sunday morning, and uh, they were talking to the uh, they were talking to some guys on there about the new album. Right, so how are we meant? To, what are we meant to do here? This is interesting because it's quite simple, actually. Oh yeah, so it is. You are not wrong. Yeah, it's it's way easier than it first appears. There you go. Told you. It's kind of a it's kind of a bit of a, a bit elaborate though. To be fair, <laughs> this whole contraption just to tell us a story. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, well, everything, kind of like in, in the, the, the room and stuff, everything is elaborate. Even if it's a simple thing you have to do, it's still elaborate. Oh, yeah. Like, like, like if you had to actually build this shit in real life, holy cow, it would be insane. All right. The Oculus Perpetual was conceived the simple side product of my research into the ancient, incomplete, yet incredibly advanced plans. Um, how was Borgia able to get his hands on it? What was the role of the secret society? If I knew the answers to these questions, I could prevent the time machine from ever existing. After I arrived in the year 1495, I need to hide my presence, even from myself. But I had a plan. After your escape from the prison, I gave you the Oculus Perpetual. Which you used to acquire the sketch of the fit of the finished time machine. Borgir took it, and I could find out how he would react. It was all a ruse. Okay. All right. What are we doing here? Uh. It's Sudoku. So obviously we've got to get everything in this... Everything's got to go in this middle cell here. Four, five, six, Remember seven, this. eight, nine, ten. So there's ten tiles... ...of each colour. Now, uh, you know your colors, and you know, and you know how to count. So that's a good start. Okay, so this is blocked in. We we can't move any of the ones in the. So we can't move any of the green ones. So that's a help, I guess. And I'm assuming, I know you should never assume, but I'm assuming Ash that. Don't start. Don't start. Assuming. I'm assuming that. We need to Dude, put we the say dots all on the outside. We say it as it's spelled, assume. <laughs> yeah, the ones that are fixed in place basically tell you how to solve it. All right, one other thing I need to do, actually, is we need to do a bit of assuming house housekeeping first. You need to assume more. I mean, assume. Let's move top ones to the top. And the bottom ones to the bottom. How did you know? I was just guessing. And what you were gonna say? I don't know. It's just I read mine sometimes. So I can't help it. Thinking now. He doesn't know. He can't read my mind. He doesn't know what I'm thinking. 
Well, uh, hey, you guys, this guy's a phony. <laughs> well, I, I, I knew exactly what you were thinking. That's why I had to stay quiet because uh, it wouldn't have been in your favor. <laughs> uh, you, it, it would have been embarrassing to release information like that. To be honest, Mika, I, they're a bit, little bit, um, I would say they're a little bit janky to move on here, if I'm honest. They don't move the smoothest. Yeah, we get what janky means. Janky? Oh, this will be weird then. Da, 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 da. Hey, it's the last supper. A bit off of faff. Yeah. Good definition. Brass collapsible frame. Oh, wonder what we do with that. Maybe we could uncollapse it. Just a hunch. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> well, what do you know? Oh, fifteen oh six. A wheel with small frames. Maybe you're wondering why I haven't told you sooner. My friend, I knew you would come to me from Castella Estens, and I worried that you weren't sent either by Borgir or the Secret Society. In the beginning, I did not trust you. Do not forget that at the time, I did not know what I knew now. As time went by, I found in you an excellent assistant and a friend. Later in Florence, I wanted to tell you everything, but there was an unexpected turn of events. A half-mad Borgir appeared in Florence, as well as the people from the Weird Society, and I needed to put my plan into motion sooner than I expected. All right. I can't do anything with that at the minute, so... Uh... Let's not look at the tower. Let's look at this other device over here. There are, I can guarantee there are no dots in my airboats, Atom. My airboat total. I guarantee it. I've got a dirty uh, lens. How do we make it clean? So, what does everybody think about not having a desktop app for Twitch? Uh, doesn't bother me because I never used it anyway. Yeah, you said that before. Wasn't asking you. Fuck off. Uh, well, I do believe you started your sentence with, what does everybody think about... Ex Asher said, except for knock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, I like I like desktop apps. I don't like to always have it be... Even though it's the same, I don't want it to be in a browser one day for some reason. I, and I can't explain why. I'm just weird like that. So if you didn't know, um, yeah... Deathwish uh, told me the last week that the, uh, the Twitch have announced that they're scrapping the their desktop app. I don't know how you misheard that sandwich. Maybe you're hungry, poor Ponky. Have you have you eaten today? Uh, he's he's busy working on this uh, epic game that I can't wait to uh, break. Somehow. Wait, you, you break games? Oh, no. You, you do that. I know you do that. I've, I've never seen you break a game in your life. Especially any of your uh, portal maps. It's never happened. Nope, never. Uh, I mean, 
<laughs> Me and Prototype have had some of the best contests to brick in your maps. <laughs> I would just I would just like to clarify that was one map one one time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how short your memory is. There's been there's been others. <laughs> but there was that one epic map where you know, it, it looked clean and nice and then by the time we were done with you, you had made it look like a FPF map. <laughs> Put it, putting in where Fizzler is and where shit, then you can check it, check a stick at. <laughs> oh. Well, as far as far as you're concerned, poor Punky, no, Push does not have a desktop app. What's with the numbers? The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? They mean nothing. They pay no attention to those. Put them out of your mind. What are those errors? Uh, there are no errors, don't worry about it. They will not help you in this game. Why do they write it in your book? That's cheating. They're not needed. Just erase that page. That that page right there with the, the ball. Yeah, that's the one that counts. Yeah, like making any one of these contraptions, it would have to take years. If I was there in real life, like I ain't playing these puzzles, I pull out my chainsaw and just cut right through it, get what I want out of it. <laughs> Adam, those numbers mean nothing. Sander needs a spinning wheel. Is that what that is? A Sander? Okay. Sure. Wait till you get the lathe. <laughs> okay, so... It's a 100% true story, and all of these uh, mechanisms were found and unearthed. That's how they know. That's how this game came about. Uh, otherwise, how would they know how to render this stuff in, in a game? They had to have something based off the real world. Come on, poor punky. Use, use your cells of brains. Three is always the magic number in games, isn't it? <laughs> uh, tell that to Valve. They don't. They don't get that. You know, if they had an orange box too, they could. They could put it up for a hundred and fifty bucks, and that bitch would be sold out. <laughs> okay, so we we've got this bit here. Um. We need to find the, the the wheel of fortune. This is kind of what I was talking about earlier on, Mika. Is like I, I feel like I'm not sort of expressing my train of thought too much, but I find with puzzle games, I mainly do that when I'm like stuck on something and I'm trying to like rationalize my thoughts. I find 
So when I'm just yeah, kind of talk like, it out, talk it out, talk it out. When I'm kind of like like this at the moment, and I'm just kind of like playing around with different ideas and bits and pieces, I don't necessarily um, go into the detail of what I'm doing and how I'm solving things. So that's because you don't know what you're doing and how you're solving it. You just uh, happenstance it, and and then you go, yeah, here's what I'm doing. Up, oh, solved it, got it. On to the next thing. You well, guys got what I did, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it all comes down to that one single concept, doesn't it? It's um, walking around, pushing buttons. <laughs> also, just yeah. realized here, we've got um, we've got keys around here. We've got a load of stuff here that we can undo. I didn't notice these before. So let hey. us see if we can. I'm so, I'm sitting in the front seat, man. I'm just along for the ride. Yeah, I, I always kind of okay. like that key concept. Not that you had to do it over and over, but the fact that if you had a key, uh, you could have a slot that had every combination that the key had, but you would have to have the key and you would have to put it in the correct orientation, but the slot wouldn't would have every orientation so you couldn't just yeah you could guess but good luck with that yeah you know like you can literally just have them all turned down to the bottom or something and then but you have all the slots uh for whatever you're opening and yeah that would be cool. Okay, I'm gonna do that. That would be far more secure than uh, any of Master Lock's locks. What do you mean you needed a hint for this? Make a, um, a yeah, I'm not sure which part. Is uh, I don't know. Every, uh, to me, everything is pretty straightforward. I right, so I guess something's got to fit in here, right? Which we don't have anymore. So at, at the minute, so let's go and head. Down the stairs. I wonder if this bit now fits on here. Yes. Hey, look at that. It's a secret compartment. We got a metal handle. Apparently a spring-loaded mechanism or an angled piece of wood inside that just allowed to fall out. Okay, that doesn't fit in there. What was it was waiting for here? Oh. I suppose we Wind just need to wind. make it spin. Okay. Yeah, smooth that sucker out, baby. I thought I was looking for I thought I was like looking for a wheel as such, but I guess not. My bad.
stop. Okay, okay, make that it. Shape. Yeah, I got you. Jeez, okay. Okay, so it's a to push them all in the right order, basically. Find a deal. Yeah, see, these are the type puzzles that are typically brute force. If it stays in, then go to another one. If it stays in, go to another one. If it comes back out, start over. But this one actually has the solution. With a lot of... Uh, I've played a lot of these games. I don't know about you, Knock. Like, are you even on the, uh, the hidden object games and stuff? Uh, there are these sometimes. Uh, or, I don't know. I've played other games where they were just... Round stuff. They, they oh, were okay. just straight up brute force. If you Not push long. it in and it pops back out, it's the wrong one. Push it in, stays in, and you push another one in until it stays in. Yeah, so some of them are. But I mean, I, th I think that's the difference between like playing this and playing some of those other games is that some of them doesn't. Some of them is very much the the whole point of the puzzle is a trial and error puzzle to brute force it rather than actually putting the solution into the puzzle. Which yeah, is a little bit which, um, disappointing cheese sometimes. Ass. Yeah, I think it's cheesy. Like this one actually gives you oh, yeah. a solution, and you, you have to be looking for it and find it. Yep. And, this I uh, went. To, sorry, just for me. I'll just read for this. Sorry. So, so uh, Mika, you, you see fifteen oh eight because you were wondering about the pillars. Uh, thus I went to the year 1495, but you ended up in the year 1508. You're asking, how is that possible? The key element in the calibration process of the time machine is the special glove which you which you equipped when you went through the gate. Without, the, without it, the gate is almost useless. I built it into an important and irreplaceable component as sort of safety precaution against anyone misusing the gate. My glove was damaged during the journey. Luckily, we still have the one you used. Yikes. Sorry. I don't have any more. As we will need it. Exit the tower as soon as you can. Outside awaits the last fragment of the story and a little surprise. Uh, make a... Just, just for helpful sake, not to be... Okay. Uh, uh, pillar is two L's. P-I-L-L-A-R. Pillar. I don't know if I don't know if that was a typo on your part, but just in case. Hold on, so hold on. Let me You know what I'm going to do, Doc? What are you going to do, Deathwish? Uh, well, I have all wooden floors throughout my house, and then, except for the bathrooms, which have tile. I'm going to, because, you know, carpet carpet is nice but shitty at the same time. It, it feels good to walk on. It's warmer and all that soft. Uh... But instead of carpet, I want to do my living room and grass. Oh, like I'm an astroturf. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, no, I'm going to actually have to mow my living room. I just, room. can I just get you to hold that thought for two seconds? <laughs> um, so I think I've seen the pattern here of how this works. So the number is being doubled and then add one. 
So that would be for 10, 14 plus one is 10, 15. 10, 15 doubled is 20, 30 plus the one is 20, 31. So that means this uh, on here, this one should be um, 40, 63, I think. Hey, Mika, you watching this? Forty. Uh, six. Three. Boom. Oh. There's your answer, Mika. Is that what Mika was I stuck with? Uh, I have. I hope that makes sense to you now. If not, uh, there's nothing I can help you with. Yeah, it was just uh, one of those kind of things. That's the f that's the one thing when it comes to numbers on things. I always look for a pattern first. Yeah. Because typically, a hundred and ten times out of one. It's a pattern. <laughs> All right, but now we need to find a uh, loose board. We need to ply up a loose board. Not ply up, pry up. We need to find what you Americans call a lever. Oh, uh, more commonly known as a lever. Um. Oh, uh, that that actually that's one that. Uh, that's a word that's said both ways. We, 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 we don't say... Typically, I will say you hear a lever more often than not, but levers also... Uh, nobody would look at you funny if you said a lever. Because that's used to. So we use, we use it both ways. Just depends on where you're from in the country. Yeah, because our country is uh, like 50 times bigger than your little island. That's not. You're tiny. Your, your country's tiny, man. Seriously. <laughs> I could fit your entire country three times in my backyard. What are you talking about? Yeah, no, I'm just trying to uh, puff up our stats. Can't, can't, uh, can't fool you, Brits. What's that all about? Yeah, uh, Mika. Uh, no worries. We, we, we all, we all go through those moments. I do something down below now. Like, uh, there, I guarantee you there's, uh, games you played where you just played it, went on through, never even thought twice about something. And one of us played it and got stuck on that part and was like, what What do I do? What am I missing? You know? This depends on your, your frame of mind. Just like how uh, present you is not the same as future you uh, when you when you're playing something and you just leave it, come back later, and past you was an idiot, and now present you figures it out immediately. So just, yeah. We got the wooden rose. See, I would have, uh, right there again, I would have used my chainsaw and just cut that bitch out. <laughs> the lack of chainsaws in here is uh, just disturbing. So sad. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's a better way to put it. Disturbing. It's, <laughs> you, you should be able to just cut all of this wood up and do whatever you want with it. Oh, would you look at that? Missing a rose. Funny that. I can't oh, believe look at that. that's a thing. What? That actually worked? Only six, poor Ponky? Jeez. Everybody knows uh, seven's the magic number. 
Ah, uh, that's... Uh, she's lightweight. She's amateur. Even I, regularly, I, re I regularly juggle eight in a, as a morning routine when I wake up in the morning, you know? Yeah, yeah I, I can't say it to blame me. Keep your reflexes good. Get your blood flowing. And yeah, I think I think me kind of like probably because of like my job and things, and I'm always sort of like problem solving for my job. I'm always kind of like looking and um, possibly at like different ways that maybe normal people wouldn't look at situations and puzzles, which is probably why I like to think I can get things quicker than most people a lot of the time. Um, portal being an exception because I suck a lot of portal, especially the uh, more difficult ones. No, I would I would actually disagree, Mark. Uh, yeah, Jake's, uh, uh you actually solve Porto quite well. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean you're one of the better. Like when you first started out, uh, yeah, you you just first started out and we we're trying to understanding stuff, and then didn't take long for you between. Uh, a few different people uh, telling you how things worked and whatever and what you can and can't do that you started to just boom, 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 boom and you, you just run through puzzles, even more difficult ones that a lot of people can't even figure out. You, you get it and figure it out. Uh, you're, yeah, but you're... I also I, I don't I don't just sometimes I I sometimes don't put that down to like um, being smart. I just put that down sometimes to being stubborn because I don't like being beaten, and I will I will sit there for like hours on end oh, until yeah. something is done. So, well, that helps. Uh, it's it's that it's that you, but you still figure it out. Some people can sit there on puzzles and just literally never figure them out uh they they can't get out of get it out of their head of a, of a certain way of thinking but you go okay yeah you'll do the same thing for an hour and a half ever and ever expecting a different result but then <laughs> you'll get <laughs> but then but, but but then you go okay uh Let's try something that or continue the next day and boom, boom, boom. You know, and then he did it. And then... Well, I, I know from experience, like from like, from my job, it's like you can be sat here for a couple of hours trying to work something out. No progress. You you step away. You come back the next morning. Within ten minutes, you've like solved the problem straight away. So, as much as I'm like stubborn a lot of the time, I do know like walking away and taking a break is more often than not a, 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 the better thing to do yeah absolutely like i uh when i used to program uh i would have an issue that i needed solved in my program and yo nathan thanks and, for the hydrate, I, I, dude. and i couldn't think of anything and i'd sit there for three hours trying to do different things around it, and I, I and I could feel like I was close. But it's like, no, I need to change these parameters and this and that, or something. Something I need. Okay, screw it. I go to sleep, and I would dream about it, and I would wake up in the middle of the night with the solution. Like I'd literally dream the solution. Get up, go straight to the computer. Boom, done. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you, I bet you can that, relate, Paul Ponky, right? I bet you can sort of like relate to the fact that, um, um, you know, when you're kind of like stuck from time to time, walking uh, away, taking Punky a break. Stuck. Poor Ponky never gets stuck. He just does. That's all. Poor Ponky just does. Poor Ponky just does. <laughs> that's it. That that that's on his business card. Poor Ponky. I just get it done. I just do. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what was that thing? Here it is. No, you're not here on DW's voice. This is pre-recorded. Thank you for considering uh, subscribing. Well, 
thumb, thumbing up and liking this video on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not sure what I gotta do with the roses yet. This guy has got a weird face. Okay, I've seen that cross somewhere. Where have I seen the cross? That's Thought what your here. wife said. There it is. What's going on, Nathan? So I need to find a way to open this. Chainsaw. Oh, hello. Sneaky. Told you, chainsaw, man. Solves a lot of problems. I'm not sure you can actually chainsaw, like, a marble. You just have to have a different blade. Equip your masonry blade and you'll be well away. Yeah, yeah but you can you, you put uh, diamond blades on a chainsaw and off you go. All right, what am I? What am I meant to do with this? Look, it's yellow and blue flowers. Hmm. I wonder if you need to play a, a hot puzzle to get more flowers. So that just infinitely turns to the, the right. This one infinitely turns to the left. What am I? Uh, 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 in America, we call it infinium. That dude looks stoned. <laughs> get it, not get it, get it. Oh, I get it. Get it, do you get it? He looks stoned. Get it? <laughs> wink, wink. Nudge, <laughs> nudge. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys, he's here all week. I do apologize. <laughs> Look uh, at that, that stoned guy there. Alright, so that opens that. I don't see what I could do. I, I don't have anything in my inventory anymore. To yeah, the, pl anything. the flower puzzle is pretty simple. Uh, Adam, yeah. Uh, you know, depending on if you see it. Powerful eyes. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh... If I think if you were looking at the game at regular size, whatever your screen size is, uh, it's it's a lot easier than knock size screen. He takes it. He takes up uh, eighty percent of his real estate with chat and his social likes and stuff. Sorry, sorry. Let me uh, <laughs> let, 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 let me let me fix that for you guys. <laughs> there you go. Sorted. <laughs> there we go. That's much better. 
Now I can see clearly now the rain is falling. <laughs> uh, I bet you'd be glad to get it done though, Mika, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome, dude. Congrats on uh, getting close to the finish line and you'll cross it. Yeah. Tomorrow? That's cool. Congratulations. I mean, uh, I'm here. I, I haven't finished the thing I started since I was born. Oh, not, not I could, not could tell you that. Uh, you finally did that. Dumbass. <laughs> you see, that's the sort of puzzle that I was able to brute force in the original game. <laughs> Like Mika was talking about earlier on. Yeah, and you could in this one too, but yeah, you would have to get... Yeah, I got extremely lucky in the first one. Yeah, yeah you had to be pretty lucky. Alrighty then, what we got here? I'll just use the chainsaw. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's... Ah, uh, it's the count of one, <laughs> two. <laughs> oh, okay. I see what's happening here. Do you now? If you commit one, and it's not right, it resets everything. Oh no, 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 no! You've got to do it in order. There's a number order. Ooh, mm. idiot. Uh, oh, but I can't do that. Uh, okay. I right. was thinking that, yeah, I'll just leave Yeah, well, there, there's your problem myself. right there. There's your problem right there. Yep. You were thinking again. I, I, it happens sometimes. I can't control it. I don't know why it happens, how it happens, but it does. Uh, we need to get the star in there. There's a square. Triangle. That, that. One, two. Oh, I didn't say do that. One, two, two, three, four. You dumbass, you went one, three. <laughs> well, I didn't go. I went one, two, three, but the game just couldn't keep up with my, um, you know, the the speed. Yeah, yeah, your your Einsteinium. You got a stone ornament. Like you gotta do all that shit, and you could have reached down like two feet and grabbed it, because <laughs> that bitch did not come up that far. Hey, we found that dude's mask. You don't gotta look I, like that anymore. I, I would have got a I would have got that with a chainsaw. Now he's not gonna be completely stained. Uh, but now he looks even more stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Was there like it's any? A, uh, was there any actual purpose to like him catching that? I, I don't know. Yeah, to put it in your inventory. If you didn't capture it, it would have gone down the well or the drain, and then you would have had to do some other 
something or other. Some um, some other something or other. Yeah. And so, I like how they do the drain and the drain, the actual bricks go down at, to, to like the, there would be no standing water or they actually run down into it. Yeah, it's in Dennett. All right, so we've got to, I can see already what we need to do here. So we need to make the numbers here. So this is going to be all ones. Yeah, you're definitely uh, a masochist. Make a nine. Okay, we can't make nine with that. Three. Six. Can't do it with that either. Yeah, this is that. That's uh, uh, five, not a six. So that's not right. Eleven. It's only nine. Okay. Well, I assume, and never to assume, I know, but the four is going to have to go on the eleven. Four and six. That makes eleven. That makes six. This only that's makes 11. eight. That only makes eight. That's four. It's another four here, though. Yeah, you need nine. Four, eight. That would need to be a two. Boom. Easy. Giacomo, after I arrived in the year, I want to say 1995, 1495, it was risky to reveal my presence to any acquaintances. I could not be sure how you would react. Giacomo, or even how my younger self would react standing face to face with his double from the future. I could not endanger the plan this way. Alas, I need a sanctuary, and I found it with my old friend, Luca Pacchioli. Uh, yeah. Luca, Luca is a monk, scientist, and gifted mathematician I can trust without reservation. In time, I will surely introduce you. Do you remember the Oculus Perpetua disappearing from your room? It was shortly after the unpleasant visit by Caesar Borgia in, in Bortivecchia. Bortivecchia. I don't know why I said that with Italian accent, but it sounded just like it had to be. Um, I need to yeah, borrow the device. <laughs> I need to borrow the device so I could follow the Duke unseen and see what he intends to do with the sketch. He ripped out of your notebook, and I found out some very interesting things. When I confided in Luca, he was astounded. And then he told me something I cannot write in this letter. Something I will have to tell you face to face when we meet again. This is happening now. Giacomo, look behind you. <gasps> Turn around. Boom! He's got a gun. <laughs> Congrats, Mika. You have no idea how glad I am. Well, we can't play yet, Mika, so. Friend. Thirteen long years have passed before we finally meet again. Because it's Jack. not tomorrow for us yet. You future mean. You seem surprised. But if you looked carefully at what I left you on the mechanical... I bet Leonardo da Vinci's done all the wordles over tomorrow. Yeah. He can time travel, so... Yeah, he's Thank just locked in his used. office. <laughs> Our. You must already... He's playing, a. Uh... Everything Minesweeper. Happened, happened simply because it was part of my plan. No, he's got his um, he's got his Kindle tablet. He's playing some solitaire. Actually, <laughs> yeah, there you go. the truth, the fact that Borgia came he's got, like, the gate technology up so there that we don't even have. But even then, today, we gained a head start over those dangerous he's, people. He's got a. a we now have to hurry to one more place uh, where my keep the really size of a die. That or completely uh, collapse. has more power than 100 of our uh, nuclear devices. Yeah. I will tell you the details on the way. Giacomo, I need your help now more than ever before. But we can't but the funny thing a is, moment longer. Time is not on our side. You could burn the whole place down with a single match. Because it's all made out of freaking wood. Back to the future. 
this. All right, well, that was like a quite, it was quite a, a good little way that they were able to like tie in this story to the original story, I suppose. Um, I kind of like bring in like the events of that into this one. So yeah, that was, um, yeah, I think they did uh, quite a good job on that. Very good indeed. Anyway, since we're at the end of the chapter, guys, I'm going to leave uh, the playthrough of that there for tonight. Um, as always, thanks everybody for join, uh, tuning in. I appreciate the support. Thanks, Death Wish, as always, for being on hand with the uh, the uh, company and the commentary and the, the laughs and the giggles, as always. Um, we'll be back tomorrow night and we'll carry on. My honour! <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow night um, carrying on our playthrough of The House of Da Vinci. Um, I don't know how much more we got left to go. Um, We're I was getting there. Yeah, I was thinking we was about a quarter of the way through after the first episode, looking at the achievements. Um, but we've only had four, so I don't know the achievements really reflect the progress. But um, yeah, really looking forward to jumping back into this. It'll be tomorrow night. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Deathwish, anything to add before we wrap things up? Uh, well, let's go for... Since everybody's here, uh, uh, you know, a, a thing. All right. Well, YouTube, thanks a lot, YouTube. I'll catch you next time. Until then. Bye.